Yo, what's going on guys? It's G Miners here. My last video completely broke down armor stats, their distribution, and where to farm high stat roll armor. I briefly mentioned a very important concept in that video referred to as stat buckets, otherwise known as the groupings of stats, which most people don't even know exists. You guys wanted me to make another video on these buckets, so here it is. I did want to mention real quick, a lot of this information can be found from a Reddit post, which I will leave in the description below. Reading kind of sucks though, so I'll cover everything important from this post so that you don't have to read it yourself. So very simply put, the six armor stats in Destiny are grouped into two groups, which are known as buckets. The top bucket includes mobility, resilience, and recovery. This is called the top because these stats appear at the top of the stat list in game. And the bottom bucket includes discipline, intellect, and strength. Buckets are going to end up being very important to understand because they are the topmost limiting factor when it comes to getting certain stats on armor. This is another way of saying that because of the way buckets work, certain stat rolls are going to be impossible to get in game. Before I continue with these buckets, we should talk about what are known as plugs. Plugs are a set of three values assigned to a bucket or group of stats. Again, these are the top bucket and bottom bucket. And then these three values from the plug are then going to determine the stat distribution on a piece of gear. To better understand this, let's look at two examples. The first example here shows the worst plugs that you can get and each of their distributions for the different stats in each bucket. Each of these plugs sums to a total of 11 stat points. This summation is possible with two stats at five points and one stat at one point. Each and every possible combination is included, but it also seems that some of these combinations are included multiple times with different hashes, which may allude to having a higher potential to get lower stat rolls for armor than high stat rolls. Having different hashes just means that these are not copies of each other, so you could potentially roll the same exact plug with two unique hashes. You can easily see the top and bottom buckets being used here as well, as points are distributed amongst mobility, resilience, and recovery, and then discipline, intellect, and strength. On the higher end, we see the exact same thing, but these plugs now sum to a total of 17 stat points. A lot more combinations exist to make this possible. Once again, certain plugs are repeated, so these are going to be most likely more common to get in game. At the end of the day, each time a piece of armor is dropped, it will randomly roll two plugs for each bucket. This is why a max stat of 68 is the hard limit for legendary armor. Best case scenario, you will roll two 17 stat plugs in the top bucket and then two of these in the bottom bucket, which will sum to 68. Worst case scenario is two pairs of 11, which would sum to a 44 roll. Plugs are not something that you really need to worry about as it isn't something that you have any real control over. But what it means for the buckets is that among the top three stats, you can only ever have 34 total points and the same goes for the bottom. So if you're trying to hit something like 100 mobility and 100 recovery just on armor rolls alone, this is not going to be possible. This would require over 20 points in each stat per piece of armor, which would be larger than the max of 34 for one single bucket. With this, it is going to be completely impossible to have three tier 10 stats in any one bucket. If you want three tier 10 stats, it will need to be two in the top bucket and then one in the bottom or vice versa. The same logic is going to apply when going for four tier 10 stats as well. Now two of these stats must be in each bucket. This is the main reason you see a lot of builds that focus on either recov and discipline or recov and intellect. Recovery is super important and is easy to get high when you're just trying to max out one stat in the top bucket. And then since you're going to have potentially up to 34 extra points laying around in the bottom bucket, focusing this on either intellect or discipline also becomes pretty easy to do. Real quick guys, if you found this video useful or learned something, don't forget to like and sub down below. We are trying to hit 15k subs by May. Subbing is completely free, it helps me out a ton, and you can always change your mind later. The last thing I wanted to cover are exotic armor pieces along with pre-Shadowkeep legendaries. Everything I mentioned came with the armor 2.0 release in Shadowkeep. This means that anything released prior to Shadowkeep does not follow these rules. For most of the legendary armor that existed back then, I believe that most of these should have been sunset. I also highly doubt that any of these armor sets are currently earnable in-game. 
So if you do happen to have a base roll legendary that is higher than 68, it isn't that this video is inaccurate, it is that you are a hoarder. Just kidding, it means that you have a piece of armor that follows an older stat distribution system. As for exotics, because these are not sunset, the ones released prior to Shadowkeep can still be earned in game. This is why they have a maximum that is slightly higher than 68. This max should be 71 for certain exotics. And the reason for this is that these exotics were created under an older stat system where discipline, intellect, and strength did not exist. So Bungie included intrinsic stats to these pieces of armor. These stats that are intrinsic will always be in mobility, resilience, and recovery, AKA the top bucket. Because of these extra stats, certain exotics are the only pieces of armor currently earnable that can roll with a min stat of three in any one area. Typically, based on the plugs that we went over, this min would usually be two for any regular legendary piece of armor. With that covered, you should now pretty much know everything that there is about these stat buckets and how they are generated. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. Hope this video helps guys. Peace.